You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Amanda Kinseth. And Cecil Chandler. If it's happening in the area, then it's on Carolina and Company Live. And hello, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. It is a Wednesday, and you know what day that is, don't you? Come hump on. Day. You know day. Hump, hump day. day. Hump day. <laughs> I'm Cecil. This is uh, Amanda. That's it. I knew I knew Hey, her. nice to meet you. Good to see you. We've had a great show How many today. years have we been doing this show now? A long time. I know that. You're going to learn, you know, learn my name, one of them? I get it once in a while. You get the show name once in a while, too. I have called my wife by my ex-wife's name before. Oh, and I don't know why I doesn't told go you over that. I don't know why I said that. Let's check on the weather. Let's get out of this one. Well, out there right now looks pretty good down at your 2nd Avenue Pier Camera. Lots of sunshine, few clouds moving in with the developing sea breeze out there. And the temperatures have generally maxed out pretty close to the Grand Strand with that sea breeze pushing in. 84 degrees in Myrtle Beach, 86 in Georgetown, and 85 in North Myrtle. 86 currently in Conway, still at 82 in Florence and Darlington. We will still hold on to plenty of heat through the afternoon, especially away from the sea breeze. We may see a stray shower pop up along the sea breeze. On first alert, live up at 15,000, though we are dry, and most locations forecast to stay dry through the afternoon and even into the evening hours. Although Futurecast tries to pop up a stray shower, most locations won't have to deal with that today. And it looks like several days ahead of dry weather. High temps pretty close to where you are right now along the Grand Strand, maybe a degree or two higher. We'll make it to the upper 80s for the inland areas, staying shy of 90. It will be warm or even a little hot out there for today and tomorrow, a little hotter tomorrow before things cool down a little bit for us. All thanks to a secondary front passes us by dry on Friday with a little less heat and humidity coming in behind it. Tropics starting to get a little more active. You can always get the latest on the tropics on your website, carolinalive.com. There is a wave moving from the Atlantic to the Caribbean, showing a moderate potential of development over the next 24 to 48 hours. We'll keep you updated on that on the website, as well as on News Channel 15 tonight at 6 with Chief Meteorologist Ed Piotrowski. Otherwise, looking at middle and upper 80s for the Grand Strand for highs, upper 60s for lows along the Grand Strand. Inland areas will stay shy of 90 after tomorrow. We'll even see wake-up temps in the mid-60s for the weekend. Weather is brought to you by a and Fire and Water Restoration. I'm morning anchor Jason Klausbill for WPDE News Channel 15. Here's what we're working on today. 7th Congressional Congressman Tom Rice is on the Grand Strand talking about Syria and President Obama's affordable health care law, what our elected leader had to say. Plus, adult business ordinances pass in Horry County, but what happens now? We'll answer that question and what effect it has on area businesses. Plus, your weekend forecast is going to be a bit cooler. Your top stories and weather is tonight on WPDE News Channel 15. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We have a great show for you today. Window World is here. That's right. Cold Brothers. We got some clowns from the circus. Yeah, we got some clown, clowning around today. We're talking a little right. bit about Darlington 5000. Yeah, the Williamson Park raising money for that over there. Yeah. And also we got mental health stuff thing coming up. And guess what else? I smell some pizza. Papa John's in the house. Where is yeah. he? Adam, come on out here, buddy. Here he comes. Papa John is in the house. What you got today, buddy? I got us a uh, buffalo chicken pizza. Buffalo chicken pizza. Yes, sir. It has ranch sauce, uh, chicken poppers cut up, and it has onions with six rolls of buffalo sauce on top. Wow. That All right. Did you make this yourself? Delicious. Come on over here. Did yes, you sir. Make this yourself? Did I make it? Yes, sir. Yeah. We made it this morning for just you two. All, All right. right. <laughs> I asked him, did he have time to stay with us? He said he was on the clock, so I told him to sit down. Oh. <laughs> hey, we appreciate this. How many did you bring? I got us two. That's all right. right. Next, next week, next month, three. Next month, three. We yes, sir. A lot sir. of people eating here, work here. Yes, sir. I'll give all you right. three next time. Thank you, Adam. Yes, sir. Thank you. Have a good you. job. Enjoy. Thank you. It. You know, right. I'm always in a, I, I'm always ready to come to work because we always order pizza. We've got a standing order the first Wednesday of every month because That's we right. really get a good lunch. Papa John's, check it out. They've got this, this special pizza right now. Have it for lunch. Have it for dinner. Have it every day, whenever you want. That's right. All right. Let's talk a little bit. We got to talk today. You, did, you. Let's see. My talk or your talk? What are we doing? Mine first. Go ahead. All Go right. for it. All right. Taylor's first. Yeah. All, right. All right, we'll Go talk ahead. about my weekend. Okay, so on Thursday, yeah, we went to the Steelers game. That boo, was going on in boo. Charlotte. There we are right there. We taught Charlie to say, Go Steelers, and it was the cutest thing ever. And then they had this little field, too, where you could uh, play football and dress up like a football player. But um, That's pretty cool. Let me tell you, he has this little toddler terrible towel and he waves it and it's awesome. And then he <laughs> says, Go Steelers. So it's super exciting for me. Did you anyway. throw your shirt away after you took it off? 
We, okay, we don't need to talk about score, the final uh, score. Right. We yeah, that's what I was going to ask you about. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Williamson Park over in Darlington. They're getting ready for a facelift. Let me tell you, as of 7.30 this morning, this is what it looked like. They're replacing one of the long walkways through the park. Now, coming up, uh, the Darlington 5000 fundraiser. That's a walk and a run in two weeks. And that's to raise money for the park, and that's going to be cool. We're going to talk about that, too. Doing a great job over there in my hometown. All right. Hey, don't forget the uh, concert, Sinister Blind, that is coming up Thursday. That's tomorrow, 7.30 p.m., and we've got some tickets to give away. I would like to say congratulations to Denise Collins, Jackie Hux, Jessup Myers, and Chris Fahey. You all won tickets to the concert, so go have some fun and post a picture up on our Facebook page. That's right. You need to pick them up by 12 noon tomorrow. No, well, about, three, about 4 o'clock, I'm sorry. Four. Yeah, yeah, 4, four o'clock, and then she leaves. But you can come pick them up here at the station. All right, let's find out about today. Today's Wednesday, September 4th, and this is Eat an Extra Pizza? Dessert Day. Oh, okay. Mm. Pizza and then dessert. And it's also National Beach Cleanup Month, so keep the beach clean. Here's birthday today, 1931. Mitzi Gaynor, she's 82 years old, dancer, singer. You remember the movie she was in? No. Sure. South Pacific, 1958. All right, 1949, Tom Watson, he's 64, PGA champ, six-time PGA Player of the Year. All right, 1981, Beyonce, oh, my Lord, I love this girl, 32 years old, former member of uh, Destiny Child, I think it is. Yeah. She won 17 Grammys. I'm going to give her another Grammy. She can have one. It's this day in history, 1957, Ford Motor Company introduces Edsel. It ran for two years, and after that, they said no more, but now they're worth a lot of money. Collectors have them. 1965, the Beatles' Help single goes all the way to number one. It stays there for three weeks on Billboard magazine. 1991, 1991 uh, the last drive-in theater in New Jersey closes. Man, I love the drive-in. Mm, I know. Oh, I miss can't those. can't believe it. All right. World records. All right, you ready? Ready. Check this out. Look at this. What is the most straws, straws stuffed in a man's mouth. No, that's his mouth yeah. around this here? This guy is Simon Elmore. He's of Germany. And he broke the record in 2009 by holding 400 straws in his mouth for 10 seconds. World record. What are these? I mean, I, I, where does that come from? Like, who decides one day, you I know? I don't know. Yeah. I can shove a lot of straws yeah. in my mouth, and I'm going to break the world record. I, hey, but, you know, it's something yeah. fun to talk about, I guess. That is. I know. I can, I can eat pizza. All right. That's it from the Know-It-All department today. That's right. We're going to go to break, so we can eat a piece of Papa John's pizza, and we're talking about Window World next. Stick with us. Hi, it's Bill Lankford from Core Fitness Club. In case you're running short on time or you just want to tweak your exercise, try to find a piece of equipment that allows for combination moves. This is a ground-based hammer strength jammer, and as you can see, it allows you to do a full body movement with a rotational aspect. So it's a great piece whether you're looking to do combination moves, you're running short on time, or you just want to tweak your workout, this is the one you want to do. Core Fitness, expert staff, state-of-the-art equipment, classes, and functional fitness. Visit Core Fitness at 1141 Robert Grissom Parkway in Myrtle Beach. Hi, it's Bill Lankford from Core Fitness Club. So traditional weightlifting equipment allows you to work out in one dimension. The ground-based combo twist by Hammer Strength allows us to work out in three dimensions. You can see the rotational twist, the push, and the pull aspect. It's a great piece of machine if you're running short on time or if you just want to tweak your workout. Core Fitness, expert staff, state-of-the-art equipment, classes, and functional fitness. Visit Core Fitness at 1141 Robert Grissom Parkway in Myrtle Beach. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live on a Wednesday. Now, you know it's hurricane season, but thank goodness we haven't had any yet. But you need to be prepared, and Windows World That's can right. make you prepared. Scott has a lot of ideas for you to keep your house safe. And, yep, uh, sure do. And talking about windows right now and protecting them. Well, and in addition to the impact windows that we carry, we also have a fabric hurricane protection. It's an engineered product. Uh, it's rated at a DP60, which is over 140 mile an hour winds. Hmm. And wow. it's very lightweight. It's easy to store. Uh, what I brought here was basically a average size window, mm -hmm. and the ladies can put them up and wow. take them down. 
you, easy that's enough you can but take it. But that covers the whole window. Mm -hmm. that's, an, that's an average size yeah. window. You just put your bolts on it and hook it in. Right. It's yeah. <clears throat> you would have uh, bolts would be t basically 12 inches apart down both sides of the window, and it's just some washered wing nuts. Put them on, tighten them hand tight, and get out of Dodge. That's a that lot better than some. I have Bahama shutters on my house. I mm -hmm. went down, but this will withstand 140 miles an hour. Yes, sir. Yeah, sure now will. That's pretty good. And these are light and easy to put yeah. up too. I mean, you could do that, this. You could do that. Yeah, anybody could. If I got these, my wife could do it. And storage is such a commodity here at yeah, the beach. I mean, is. there's there's a lot of folks that are in condos or something like that. They really don't have storage. You could take that and stuck stuff it right under a you couch. Betcha. Well, we're in a house and we still don't have any more. <laughs> so, all right, what's this over now, what here? Is, what is that? This is actually a garage door strut. Probably the weakest point on anybody's home is their garage door. I um, thought about that. If it's not a fairly new built home, it's not a hurricane rated garage door. Mm -hmm. And what happens is as the wind pressure builds up, that door starts to flex and eventually the rollers pull out, you have a ca catastrophic event. I mean, as big as that opening is, you get all that 100 mile an hour plus wind in there, up goes the roof. With this wow. door strut, on a, on a 16 foot or a two car garage door, two of these struts will bring the strength of that door up to 160 miles an hour. Uh, so it's, it's a very strong unit, very easy to, to deploy and take down. Uh, we would actually set it up initially, show the homeowners how to put it up, how to take it down, and it, it really adds a lot of strength to your garage door, nice. especially if it's an older home. All right, now if somebody wanted to put these on their windows, you'll mm -hmm. come out and install the bolts, everything for them, right? Yeah, yeah. We would do the initial deployment of the product, and then, again, we would instruct the homeowner how to do it. And every one of the panels comes with a label. And that label oh, will tell okay. you Which what window? screen it is, if it's living room, dining room, however the homeowner wanted to identify it. So it makes it easy for them to identify what the panel is and to, uh, to put it up easily. Yeah, that's, that's great. Fun. Well, this is Thanks, a great God. way to protect your house. You know, if you, if you want to get all new windows, then you can and obviously get the great ones that sure. they have um, that would stand the wind and whatnot. But, you know, this is an easy way to go protect yourself. That's right. You never know if a storm or hurricane's coming, so check with Windows World and they'll take care of you. Yeah. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. Knock on wood, one won't come. When you're prepared, then they won't. That's right, right believe me. That's right, Get that's prepared. right. This is your insurance policy. There we go. <laughs> right, stick with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live, the Darlington 5000. That's right. When you think of that, you think of the race over there, but sure. not this time. That's 500. Yeah. You're talking about 5000. That's right. This is a walk and run they're putting together at the Williamson Park over there, beautiful park, and they're keeping it cleaned up and everything. And Brad's with us. How you doing, Brad? Doing great. How about yourself? I'm doing great. Now, this is the ninth annual, right? Correct. Exactly. Right. Now, you all have made a lot of money with this in helping the park look better. Well, it's definitely something that we're constantly working on. Um, funding is always an issue. I don't care what we're, what we're dealing with. Yeah. But the long story short is, is that this is the one fundraise that we do on an annual basis. Um, as we did say, it is the ninth annual. We have, over the years, it had a pretty slow start. Last year was one of our better years that we got about $15,000. Yeah. that We actually went ahead and uh, were able to go ahead and collect and bring in. This year, we're not on track that far, but we're, we're doing very well. We're going ahead and uh, still raising funds, trying to get people to come on out. And I think the big thing that most people get worried about is, is a race. I mean, it is one of those things that really it's more of a social event. We do give out uh, medals for the winners in multiple categories, but uh, it's really just to come out and enjoy the park is really walk what we're trying to do. Walk and run. Walk, stroll, walk, yeah, whatever. you know. Now, now, tell, now tell, tell me, when's what's the date on it? It's Saturday? It's, it's Saturday, September 14th right. at 9 a.m. Registration will be at 8 a.m. if right. you haven't already pre-registered. You can come out the day of the event, register, get your T-shirt, get your numbers, and go out and have fun. Well, let me tell you, if you've never been to the Williamson Park, I grew up in that area about three blocks from there, and I played in the park, I swam in the park. Now you wouldn't think about it, but, you know, a lot of people did back then. <laughs> and it was just a lot of play, and it's really beautiful, and replacing that boardwalk is unbelievable now. It is. It was about uh, four years ago that we actually brought in the backside. 
nice boardwalk where you can do the full loop trail. So there's over a mile of boardwalks and trails through the park. And currently what we're working on right now is there is one remaining bridge that was, uh, was there but was damaged. Yeah, it was storm. looking, getting kind of rough, pretty narrow, rickety. Some folks are a little bit nervous about going out on it. And now it's going to be widened to the five foot like all the other boardwalks and bridges that we have. So it will be, uh, we're really looking forward to it. They're working on that right now. Well, that is nice. Well, I'll tell you now, they can still sign up that morning. If they, if, where can they go to? You got a website they can go to? Williamsonpark.org. .org. Yeah. Um, we've definitely got that. We've got the, the registration forms throughout Darlington. Um, but the website's the easiest place to go ahead and get, get yeah. that to download. And really just a good excuse to get outside, yeah. enjoy nature, you know, see beautiful the beautiful place. park. Yeah. It really is. Brad, it, thank you, buddy. You're very we welcome. Thank you. you very much. Y'all hope y'all raise a lot of money over there. Well, we certainly hope to. We try to. And you going to come out? You got to come out I'd and check it out. I'd love to come over there. I'm going to be in Darlington this weekend for something I've got to do. But I won't be there that weekend. i got a car show. All right. Thanks a lot, Brad. Thank a you. A lot more coming up. You stay with us. Amanda and I will be right back. <laughs> I heard that. I couldn't hear him. Did they say anything? <laughs> Who's next? Clowns? No. Thank you. Sam's up. Thank Appreciate you. it very much. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Sam, come on over. Take back care. Back. We'll save the clowns for later. I'm putting them on green mic. <laughs> Look at him, man. Let Sam in. Let him sit. Sit right up front. Right up front. There. Oh, come over this way. Come over this way. Well, that was be, no, right here in the middle. Right there in the middle. Make you look straight, straight there. Go ahead and sit down. Yep. Yeah, sit up toward the front. That's what I do. Yeah. And when you just talk to us, that camera over to our right over here is picking us up way over there. Okay. Yeah, so you don't have to turn and look at that one. I, I was trying to tell Brad, but he kept looking over there, and I didn't know how to tell him while we were on the air. So look this yeah, way. Yeah, no. Brad kept no, looking. You kept looking out. over that way. Okay. Oh, that right. one. Yeah, just look at us. That, that'll pick you up. That camera right over there will pick you up. Good. All right, count to five for me, Sam. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Oh, one, two, three, <laughs> four, five. I never did either. And you're going to do the spelling bee for us in November. I'm going to send you a letter next week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you will. You know I can't spell, right? And welcome back to Carolina Company Live. A community family workshop, Battle of the Mind, is set for this Saturday. That's right. And we've got Sam here to talk a little bit about it. Yes, actually on Saturday, September 21st in Florence, on New Ebenezer Baptist Church, Wayside Chapel Baptist Church, in the Title I program of Greenwood Elementary, we're collaborating to do a workshop for families and for children. Uh, we're going to have four different topics, and you can select two of those topics for two 45-minute sessions. And then at the end, we're going to have a panel of experts, Dr. Ali Brooks. We're going to have Dr. Uh, Mr. David Kahn, who's a licensed professional counselor. We're going to have Chief Anson Shells all coming together for parents and members of the community to ask questions for their children or themselves as it relates to mental health or gang awareness or drug abuse in the community. You know, there are so many pressures put on kids these days and so many, you know, instances they find themselves in. This is a really good thing for, you know, parents to be able to go to to kind of learn more about what's going on in the lives of kids right now. Yes, ma'am, and that's why I really, I'm glad our principal, Dr. Susan Hartwig, our principal, was really supportive of having our Title I do this. One of the classes is going to be substance abuse, but it's not just talking about your typical substance abuse. It's specifically talking about sage, oregano, um, nutmeg, those kind of things that children are using now to get high. Wait, what? So They're the, using tea? Yeah. And I didn't even know I that. I didn't know that. Things of that nature. And that stuff you can find in the cabinet at home. In the cabinet that kids are getting high off now starting at the age of eight. And oh, so that is unbelievable. Let me tell you, I've worked with Sam before in several things he's put together. And when he put together something that's very well put together, and this this is going to be very good. But I mean, yes, you're learning so much. And kids, I know they got a lot of period, a lot of problems they have to deal with every yes. day. But we went through the same thing when I was young. Right. Just a long time ago. 
Right. And there's a lot of different stuff out there, Sam. Which is why we're doing the grief and grieving also. Um, with the grief and grieving, we're going to have a mother there who came home and found her five children and her husband dead who had all wow. committed suicide. Oh, so man. she's going to talk to parents about that. And the internet awareness, we're going to discuss specifically ways that pedophiles are seeking children on the internet. All right, now tell them when it's going to be and how they can get involved real quick. Saturday, September 21st, uh, registration is from 8 to 845, and the workshop is from 9 to 12 at New Ebenezer Baptist Church on Palmetto and Ravenel Street. Okay, right so there in Florence. you don't have to register right ahead of time, you can just show up early that day? Well, yeah. yes, well, registration is September 13th, it closes, oh, okay. and you can so you contact uh, New Ebenezer Baptist Church. Okay. All right, Sam, thanks. I tell you, look, you're not going to believe what we got coming up over here. Look at what's coming up next, Amanda. There they are, some clowns. Clowning around. That's Sounds good right. to me. The circus is coming to town. Stick with us. We'll be right back. Butler's Fine Men's Clothing in Florence is having a huge moving sale September 3rd through the 15th. Everything must go to make room for new items. This is the biggest sale ever for Butler's, up to 75% off on clothes. And if you've been waiting for the sale of the century, this is it. Store fixtures also for sale. After seven years in this location, they've outgrown this store, and they're moving to Celebration Boulevard in Florence. Butler's is my clothing store, and if you want to look good, it should be yours. To Carolina and Company Live. We've got the clowns with us. We're talking about the Cole Brothers Circus coming to Florence next yes. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Oh, got the 10th, 11th, and 12th. That's right. I say no. Char Carly. 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 Charlie. 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 Now my hat fell off. Oh, now you uh -oh. don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> <laughs> nice so, hair, dude. Okay, Thank you. I, I can say I brought my son to the awesome. Cole Brothers Circus. He awesome. loves it, but if he sees you, he might go like this. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Does your dog uh -oh. work? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, no. Uh -oh. And don't do that. There we there go. It is. <laughs> I brought a squeaky one just Fun. in case. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The circus is great. You guys have so many things going oh, on. Oh, I know. Now, did you get a chance to see it when it was here in here? Yes. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. Because it's 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 incredible. Well, you know, you it's were different. there. It is. Yeah. yeah. And it's not going to be on Myrtle Beach now. It's going no, to Florence. Yeah. yeah. Going to Florence. Yeah. Going to Florence. Florence the Civic well, yeah, Center. Y'all do the best job in the world. People say Amanda and I do. Y'all do. You get a clean crowd and you get paid. I know. I get paid to talk to you right now. Y'all get paid. <laughs> I didn't know we got paid. That's yeah. right. I thought you did. Yeah, Cecil's when? cutting you a check right after Now, what the were show. you doing those balls, man? Oh, I was hand. juggling. How yeah. you do? He juggles. I jiggle. One hand. <laughs> One Ooh, not bad. Good. Look at that. Yeah, you want to see some really awesome juggling, you yeah. got to go to the circus and watch Miss Petcha. She juggles while she's hanging by her hair 30 feet off the ground. You could do that. Wow. That's amazing. I do you have a lot do. of hair, you, you but do. I can't <laughs> juggle, so I'll have to work oh, I can juggle. You can juggle while you're hanging by I'll juggle. All right, now, how long have yeah. y'all been clowns? About 20 years. 20 years? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, that's pretty good. Is there a clown retirement home when you retire? Only in our house. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's called our house. I was just wondering about that. So it's all coming to Florence, the big time. It is, to the Civic Center. That's right, we have baby elephants. Oh, yeah, well, a baby oh, elephant. They're so cute. We got all had a baby elephant. Baby well, got, oh. oh, no. Yeah, you no, don't. we oh, didn't. Have, I, I didn't have a baby elephant. I got, I got nervous. Again. You lost I got nervous again. on that one. Oh, here. No, we've, Is that better? <laughs> no, we've got one baby elephant. That's that's Hugo. He's two years old. And his big sister, Val. She's they're seven. They're adorable. Oh, they Check it out. The cold Thanks for being here. We're both here. Go to Shrine the circus. circus. Shrine Circus. Oh, my Shrine Circus. Yes.